So, you want to animate with Tailwind? Well, meet Tailwind Motion. It's beautiful, performant, and accessible. Its animations are pure CSS, so no JavaScript is going to slow you down. It even has a Chrome extension to visually create and modify animations and export them to Tailwind. It's the easiest way to get the perfect animations. Install it with your package manager of choice and add the plugin to your Tailwind config and you're ready to go. It even has support for Tailwind v4. Now all you need to do is use your new classes to create the animations of your dreams. The easiest way to start is with the presets. These get you most of the way, but are still fully customizable. If I wanted the subscribe button to bounce in, I would add motion preset bounce. But if I wanted it to bounce in from a higher location, I just add in translate y in 150. Once you have clicked that button, I might even add in motion preset confetti to show you how happy I am. But if you want to be different, you can use the base animations to create your own unique style. Base animations let you modify scale, translation, opacity, rotation, blur, background color, text color, and grayscale. All the primitives you need to create something quite complex, whether it's an enter animation, an exit one, or a loop one. Like Tailwind, the library comes with some available values you can choose from. In Translate, it goes up to 150, but you can also use arbitrary values to get the animation just right. Combine the base animations with modifiers to adjust things like duration, delay, easing, play state, and loop count. Play state is a cool one as it allows you to do things like pausing the animations on hover. Let's try this out then. I have this modal card and I want it to load in with some animations to add that nice finishing touch. First, I'm going to make it scale in from 50% of its size. I want to modify the duration of that to 500 milliseconds. Now what's cool is to make sure we can have different durations for each base animation. We can specify the property we are applying this duration to with slash. So slash scale in this case. Next, let's have it translate in from the side with a bit of vertical motion, changing the duration again. Okay, not a bad start, but let's spice it up with some rotation. Awesome, nearly there. The final touch is to add in an opacity effect and then a small blur. There we go, with just a few classes and no handwritten CSS, I have a clean animation. Now, if that seemed like too much work for you, the alternate way is with the Chrome extension. Select the component you want to animate, use the visual editor to drag the element for the translation, scale it down, modify the opacity, then the blur, and there we go. Now you can export this by just copying the classes down here. Features like the timeline and exporting to frame a motion or pure CSS are a pro feature, but I only use the Tailwind one anyways. They're even working on a feature to sync animations from that Figma integration with VS Code. The library itself is free and open source under the MIT license. To me, this library is a lot better than Tailwind CSS Animate, with cleaner and easier to understand documentation. Tailwind CSS Animate has not been updated in years anyway, so for v4, you need to use a fork. Go and give this a go and spruce up your apps with some easy to use animations. Let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe, and as always, see you in the next one.